earth is that thing? Okay, let's see what the quest said that I can got really Uh you know when it's spring, fall, summer or winter, trust that. <laughs> You know, um, this year, because it's gotten so cold, it's kind of cool because, uh, you know, you'll drive around and you'll see some of the leaves falling. Um, it kind of goes to two different stages here in Texas, or at least in Houston. It goes from full green on the trees till, like, the next day you wake up and it's just a dead tree. There's no leaves on the ground. There's no leaves on the tree anymore. It's just like a stick. It's been full wintered, you know, anized in, like, two seconds. And that's pretty much the extent of that. But this year, because the temperature has changed back and forth, I think it's kind of messed up some of the uh, some of the plants out there. For those of you guys who haven't seen Burning Woods, this is Burning Woods, or what I call Burning Woods. Like I said, some trees are on fire, some trees are not, but it still looks cool. But yeah, because uh, this year it, it kind of cooled down a little slower. You actually have trees turning different shades, which is, yeah, like, when does that happen? Like, that looks beautiful. Now I kind of get a, a small glimpse, just a small glimpse, of what you guys have been talking about for years when you talk about these, uh, these different seasons. I don't see anything out there we need. I mean, I'm level 10. I might be able to do the dungeon with, like, one other person. Or at least the beginning part of it, but I need at least one other person. Uh, New Jersey isn't too bad. It has four seasons. Uh, and it doesn't normally get too cold to hear. I kind of, you know, like, I like a little bit of cold. Hang on, I like a little bit of cold. Um, the the really harsh cold that some of you guys have been talking about. I know a few of our friends that uh, do some videos with us. Uh, they have talked about having to like shovel themselves out of snow, and it's gotten so bad for them. Some days they can't get out of their house. Not only can they not get out of their house, but even if they got out of their house, they wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Like the whole city is under like lockdown because it's just so much snow everywhere, and they just can't handle it. This is a place that's used to it. Like, they get snow all the time. I remember uh, it was going to snow here one year, and the city kind of freaked out a little bit. I guess they had a little bit too much money on their hands, and they didn't know how to spend it. So they decided to buy, I think it was like 800 snow plows, uh, enough to do the entire city within like, I don't know, a couple hours. They're still there, completely, perfectly brand new, sitting in some giant warehouse, I'm sure because they've never had to use them. Not once in all the time I've been alive have they ever had to use that. Alright, we're gonna die over here. Nice, that's what I get for coming to somebody's rescue. <laughs> lost. I lost all. I was almost there to the entrance, too. It's no quest, right? We were negative 16 the other day. The other morning, brutal and windy. Sometimes, if they don't plow our uh, cul de sac, I can't get out for work. Switzerland, we get maybe one to two weeks with snow where I live. 
lowest is got the sheer is like 15 and it's only at night though but i'll show you <laughs> right that's what i get for being nice get a face full of hurting there's too many dude there was like three mobs there i i could have probably taken one one of the big guys by myself um three not gonna happen but I couldn't just stand by and let them die. You know, it doesn't seem right. Gotta go down together. But see, this zone over here, I, I understand a lot of graphics is probably gonna be involved, but they're on fire. And it's it rains over here occasionally. And I wanna see steam coming off of these things. They don't necessarily have to lower the flames, just say it's magic, but you gotta have steam on it. and. If it was like a rolling steam where it comes off of the trees and then moves, you know, left or right or changes directions from time to time, maybe to kind of simulate wind blowing it in one direction or the other, that would be even better because it would blind some people into the zone and make it uh, make it very difficult for range casters to see anything. Uh, Ty Sticks, let's see this dungeon, sir. Ah, oh, well, we did the dungeon twice earlier, so you must have missed that one. It's a little dark. I, I will apologize to that. Uh, as you can see right here, it's a lot brighter when I'm standing. It's so bright, my eyes are actually hurting right here. Uh, it's a lot brighter when you're standing next to a light source, but it is nighttime right now. And one thing I have mentioned before is I've noticed that at night, in like real life night here in, in the States, it tends to be darker when I play the game in this VR. So I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know if it has uh, anything to do with real life time scales or anything like that. I do know the game has a day and night cycle regardless of what time it is outside. But um, it seems like it, it stays darker longer during the nighttime. And that makes a little sense. I actually kind of hope that that is the case. Because then you are somewhat simulating real life cycles. A tad bit more and during the day you get a lot more daytime and that again makes sense some creatures come out at night some creatures uh, come out during the day uh, a little bit more a little bit less depending on the area that you're in so there is a reason to play at night <laughs> you know like if you're looking for certain enemies you want to go off hunting during that period instead of staying indoors and uh, doing your trade skills or whatever it is that you might be doing I haven't gotten one single person who wants to go inside this dungeon so what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke our head in through the door uh, I don't think we I can do this by myself I need a tank at least it the, the hardest mob to pull the hardest group of mobs to pull in this dungeon is uh, is at the very beginning well, you went in, it was day, and came out, it was night. Yeah, I was watching Nano earlier. Well, crap. Uh, and the zone gets a bit foggy. Yeah, I'd love to see the zone get a, a bit foggy. Uh, what was Nano up to, man? How are they doing? I, I kind of missed hanging out with them today. I didn't think I was going to be up for playing that long. And I'm still waiting for this medicine to kick in. It has not done jack for me all night. It's going to be another uh, sleepless night, I know it for sure. All right, no downside to going in. If we die in here, we don't lose any durability. Even if we can just kill one mob immediately, that's one less mob for us to have to worry about next time. Now, it's cool in these in this room because you could pick up the torches. You can pick up the torches and you can take them with you. It does make this room slightly darker, but the dungeon itself is pretty dark. So it's nice to uh, it's nice to throw something like that down. <laughs> All right, so this is an attacking orb. Do we want an attacking orb? I guess we do, because we want as much. Now nah, we're gonna have to go with healing. If we want to survive for even more than like a half a second, we need a healing orb. Orcs in such lower levels, not all. And Chupin, Mavis, and Cipher were killing stuff in P99. Yeah, I was supposed to join him, man, but I feel kind of bad. Oh, yeah, fantastic. I pulled everything. And not gonna happen, dude. Yeah. Like every mob that I could possibly grab. 
So let's uh, let's go back there. Let's let our weapon respawn. There's two groups there, and I pulled both. <laughs> I trained to sound. Well, what else is new? Mavis killing mobs. He's always doing that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Give me, give me one group. Uh, well, it's a group with the main bad guy, so we're gonna die here. But we're gonna see if we can take one out with us. Come on! I see something in yellow. Oh, didn't quite get it. I need to get the one without the main bad guy. If I have any chance whatsoever of killing any of these by myself, it has to be the one without the main bad guy. But they're on the other side. I mean, he's he's really bogarting the entrance right now. Maybe if you built a giant wooden badger. Oh, <laughs> what does that have to do with it? Okay, so there's a couple greens in there. Look at that. There is a couple greens. Let's uh, let's try this one more time. Let's get this going. Heal me, bud. Do it. I think I got... I got two of them. Two of them died, and there's just one left in that main group. So I think this is possible now. Just log in Fatal Tactics. He will notice. Not flying with the Monty Python reference. Uh, want me to help? <laughs> if you uh, got a character, you want to come out and join? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm just doing this to do uh, one of the quests that I need. I need to kill this guy four times. So I don't even have to go through the whole dungeon, but I figured, you know, might as well put a group together. Nobody sent me any uh, any messages yet. They're just not really playing very much tonight, I don't think. And as far as the Monty Python reference goes, uh, probably not, because I'm not a big Monty Python guy. Um, kind of hate saying that, because it seems like a really funny series, or movies anyways, but I could never really get into English humor, for whatever the reason is. Come on, let me kill him. Almost dead, alright, so he's dead, now I just gotta kill this dude. Probably helps if I didn't just sit inside his, uh, his massive attack. So now I can pull him by myself. We'll see how this goes. Good, I missed it earlier. All right, let's get her done. Fatal tax is just uh, painful. <laughs> it is very painful. All right, fatal tactics. Uh, I am, uh, I am on the message boards, or not the message boards, but on the uh, the group right there. So if you want to join, just hit me up there, and I will toss you an invite. Uh, in fact, let me change something here. We're going to take out... This is my... Gradual Healing... Shield Orb. Yeah, we're going to go with the Shield Orb and get rid of... That one for now. Go outside. You're kind of pulling a Doctor Strange thing here. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so he's outside. Let's go out there and we'll snag him, guys. Uh, I should be outside the dungeon when I log in. Oh, okay, so. Uh, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Where where am I? Did t Whoa. What is going on? I don't know if you guys can see this. But I am. Where am I? What is that up there? Is that the. There's no way into it. I was going to say, is that the newbie area? What house is that? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Are you guys seeing that I'm stuck in, like underneath the world? Back in town? Is this back in town? I guess so. Yeah, like over there. That's where they're having the parade. And that's, that's the uh, stairway to get out of town. You're a high steps. Uh, that glitched. It sure did. I mean... 
but I'm in a, I'm in a part of high steps you're not even allowed to be in. I guess that's the newbie area up there. Yeah, that is the training ground because there is a doorway right there. You need to try to port to your house, I think. Yeah, it's just going to be a long run back there. Well, that kind of sucked. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It kind of sucked at the same time, though. <laughs> uh, no, it's a new game, man. You know, it's only been out for, what, three and a half, four weeks now? So, you know, they're, they're still working things out, getting the kinks done. But, I mean, overall, that's really the first major issue i've ever seen with this game everything else has been very very minor if at all anything um mainly it's my own lack of knowledge that uh that gets me that gives you time to log in yeah you have plenty of time to log in now this is going to be like a five minute run back at least It was an accident. Uh, you know, as long as something that I'm taking is actually working, the medication definitely isn't. It's supposed to be a pretty nasty flu season, too, so I'm hoping it doesn't turn into that. I could, I could definitely do without a nasty flu. Uh, you could teleport near there. I, um, you know, I guess I should say I can, except I have not mastered my wand yet. And I actually don't know how to teleport very well. Like, I, I can do it. I've done it once, I should say, and I've never been able to replicate that instant. And so I need a lot more practice with it. Now, I lately, I've just been running everywhere that I need to go. You could also take the uh, the air balloon. But it's pretty slow some days. I've gone up there where immediately upon going up there, it's ready. And other days I've sat there waiting for like 5-10 minutes. And I'm not sure if it's like glitching out again. And I'm just not seeing it when it shows up or like what the, the deal is. I've just found that it's been faster to run it until I know more about the game. Which I probably should by level 10. But how's it going? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if you got uh, any, any tips whatsoever about how to cast better... Or even at all, I am all for it. Killed. Uh, good boy was watching you earlier in P99, but was with a bunch of people who couldn't hear much. Uh, yeah, it can get pretty noisy on some of those Skype calls that we got, but, uh, you know, still, it's good to hang out with friends and enjoy some time. Uh, you got the great pizza debate going earlier. What was the debate? Uh, pineapple or no pineapple? I come down harsh against pineapple. I'm not big into sweets on my pizza, but barbecue sauce, you know, like barbecue sauce on a pizza, not so bad, and it's kind of sweet, so I think it uh, breaks the rule there a little bit. Or were you going more classic style, meat lovers versus uh, cheese lovers? Something to be said for a nice, simple cheese pizza. But then again, just thinking about a meat lover's pizza with everything on it, uh, also something to be said for it. So I think I'm just a lover of pizza, unless it's pineapple. Uh, unsubscribed and blocked. <laughs> Uh, Nano and his shenanigans. Uh, how five people were going to get full off of one pizza, square pizza, and triangle. I, huh. Trying to think of how five people could get full off of a pizza. They'd have to be very, very small people. Like, uh, huh, they're not even kids. Kids are, like, voracious because they're growing, so... I don't know, like small people? Were they in that Matt Damon movie where they shrink themselves? Is that the one? Where they have like one drop of water can fill an entire swimming pool? 
Uh, remember the Bigfoot pizza from Pizza Hut? <laughs> Make them all lactose intolerant. Uh, we didn't. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, uh, they used to come out with these really, really long uh, pizzas. I think who who did it? it wasn't Pizza Hut, was it? It was um, CC's maybe Little Caesars. Uh, new message. All right, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and invite him. I've actually uh, grouped with this guy a number of times. Really good guy. As far as the shape of the pizza goes, I mean, you know, does it matter? I guess it does for the crust. If you're a big person that like a guy that likes crust or anybody who likes crust, you might want uh, more surface area. I can eat a whole pizza by myself. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you're hungry, I've been known to kind of do the same thing from time to time. I mean, I don't, I don't really order pizza all that often. I actually like to make pizza. I like to make my own food, just because I like cooking, not because I'm like a health freak that, you know, thinks that anything I make is going to be better than anybody else's. Although it does tend to be a lot cleaner if you make it yourself, just because you can ensure that it hasn't been stepped on. <laughs> I worked at uh, Outback when I was younger, and, you know, if you guys knew what happened in the back of those kitchens, you would never eat out again, and it was, uh, mm-hmm, <laughs> I'll never eat at Outback ever again because of my time there, but it's all good, you know, if you don't know, it don't hurt you, so you get home that night and can't get out of the bathroom. I got a tombstone over there. Hey, man, how you doing? What is your uh, name in game, by the way, man? Ty Sticks, looking forward to the next Deceit stream. Yeah, we'll probably be doing that later this week. Uh, you know, me, Cypher, and some of the gang have. Definitely been going pretty hard into that one. Cypher with his uh, his Hans character. Uh, definitely loves his strudel. Alright, let's see. Party. What's going on, man? Uh, not mm -hmm. much, man. I am fatal. That be me. <clears throat> Ready to get this dungeon done? Oh, are you the one watching the stream? That would be me. Ah, uh, sweet, man. Alright, let me give you an invite. Thanks for coming out and helping, by the way, dude. Definitely appreciate it. Very good, man. Ready? Yep. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Let's see. I worked at Red Lobster for 10 years and a kitchen in general 26 years. Always worked in a clean kitchen, so not every place is Outback bad. Uh, you know, maybe not, but like once you work at one of those places, it really kind of puts you off from trusting anywhere else. So I think I'm just going to heal you. I didn't get credit for that one. I didn't even get a hit off on that dude. <laughs> didn't update your quest? No, nah, not because I, I forgot to hit him before he got killed. You killed him in like one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you want to exit back out? Yeah, I can come back. Yeah, I can come back. 
Uh, yeah, some of us have standards, but yeah, maybe I've just been lucky. I think, uh, you know, if you have worked in a kitchen that long, you know far more about it than I do. But, you know, some places probably don't have the, uh, the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the standards you got, because they clearly didn't at mine. Alright, let's do this. Alright, guys. So this time, remember to actually attack the mob. He's here to help you out. You can't even, like, remember to attack the mob. Such a bad musketeer. Let me put a shield on you. Is this the Char Dragon, or is that the big guy around the corner? Oh, Char Dragon's the guy around the corner. Oh, okay, so I needed that guy. Sorry about that. Did you need the tooth? Um, no, I think I got so that one already. One or did you do that already? Yeah, I did that one. I'm on the uh, the quest where you have to summon the lady from the water, but I failed on making the potion like four times. So I ran out of ingredients, so I figured I'd do this one while I waited. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there's the Char Dragon right there. The red one. Is this the only place to find him? Or is he in other places? Uh, and he's the only one in this dungeon, right? We'd have to exit out and come back in? No, there's more right there. Oh, okay. It's just the first room. No, I meant the, the, the dragon itself. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you need those, like I said, there. If you, if you go over near the desert, there's like a ton of them over there. <laughs> Kill that in like two seconds, man. Level 20 Uber. Have you done any raids yet? I saw a video online where uh, they were showing like a 30-man raid. Is that still in the uh, game or did they take that yet. out? Uh, no, there's like a war boss we were doing. That's, you can do war bosses right now, but raids aren't in the game yet. Oh, okay. So yeah, it was like a giant plant that they were killing. Yeah, that's the war boss. That's where you get the escape from. Escape on land. Oh, nice. How how difficult was it? Was it something that you could do with like one group of twenties, or it seemed like they had like thirty people there? No, no, you, you could do it with ten. They recommend doing it with ten because if you have more people, the less chance you get of drops. You want to exit out and come back in real quick, or you want to go all the way out to the main boss? No, we can go to the main boss if, unless if you don't want to. I mean, I don't need it. I'm not. Anything from it, so. Yeah, yeah, I don't need the boss. I just need that charred dragon, which I guess I can go over to the desert, but I knew I could get him here, oh, which yeah, is why no, I was coming we'll in. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back up. Why not? I'll come here for a second. Uh, let's see. Geez, lazy AC, this isn't P99. You have to work. Some of us have standards. Do the character's mouth move when you speak? Uh, I don't think they do. Oh, look at this, caster. I tried it. Prefer the symbol for that. Oh, it's not that one. What is it? Oh, 
I honestly don't remember that one. Well, let's see how close it gets us. <laughs> so on the uh, the potion that you have to make to open or to get the uh, the lady from the water, um, if you don't mind me asking a question on it, I tried making it three times and I failed every single time. It says you have to wait for the potion to turn gold. Okay. And there, uh, there's no gold. There's a yellow, and that didn't work. Yeah. Is that uh, what they're actually see which one you're doing? I can't remember doing that one. It's been a while since I did it. Uh, let me look. I can open it up on the uh, page. Yeah, I had reagents. I meant to. I forgot. All, I left all my reagents at my house, so I won't be able to tell the borders over there. Oh, I can give you one of those. I think I have a couple on me. It's the to make the potion of summoning. First place three ears fit for royalty. So yeah, the uh, queen's ears. While the cauldron remains calm, and it shows you a color, which is blue, once the heat builds mm -hmm. to emerald, add three fish of sun, so the sunfish. And Peyton's patience is the key while the heat builds to gold. I've, I, there's no gold in there. Mm -hmm. Well, then just do it on the yellow. I'm pretty sure it's the only yellow color that's in there. I'm trying to think of what that symbol is for that area. I'm gonna take a while, I guess, and say it's the. I only need one, but that's, that's fine. Give you more. I just forgot to bring him. Give you an extra. Well, let's hope I'm right. Uh, and this is how AC Earl learned that he has mild color blindness. Hey, <laughs> maybe. But I looked at it, dude. There, there's definitely no gold on that list. And I tried the yellow. So. Let's see where this takes us. I'm sweet. Right here. I think I've been over here before. Oh, yeah, they got some. Crystals. Queen's ear. All right, that's all I needed was that one. <laughs> Pretty simple. What else? So let's try that potion again, again later. But uh, what about you, man? Are you have any tunes that are uh, low level, or you got them all up to uh, level thirty or twenty already? I got a musketeer, it's level seven, and then my tank's only like level three or four. Which one are you liking the most? Not archer so far. I mean, the room age fun. I mean, I don't know. So far, I use the archer the most because it's the one, my primary one, but I like the room mage because there's like a ton of different things you can do with it. But yeah, it seems pretty vital. I mean, you know, considering that the musket is supposed to be the healer. But they're the ones that actually res people. Yeah, true. You can't res them in combat, though, so I don't really see a point in that sometimes. But, but you can leave combat by clicking that little button, right? Does I mean, that uh, denies you loot, I think, but that means bringing up everybody. Yeah, you just have to hurry up and run away and then come back after everything resets. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll go turn this in. Unless you want to hang out and do something else, man. I, like, I appreciate it. Yeah, it don't, don't matter to me, buddy. I'm just chilling. <laughs> oh, uh, why well, I got you here since you know a little bit more about the game, if you don't mind me picking your brain. Good. Uh, the fishing? Like, I got the quest to go off and get the, uh, the tiny uh, tadpoles and the eels. But my lure doesn't seem to be working. It's the green scale, right? Just green scale on a lure, and that should be all you need. I don't really fish that much. The only one I really did with fishing was up the monkfish, and I still have, I still have yet to do that one. To be honest with you, I mean, oh. I have, but I just haven't went back to do it after that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I kind of dig the fishing a little bit. I don't know why. It's uh, kind of strange. Yeah, fishing. It is fun. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, I just haven't. I've been too busy doing leveling with my, my other characters and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I guess that's probably why I'm not 
as high as I should be, or that I want to be yet, but... I don't know when the, the next time they're going to be adding a new expansion in to raise the limit, so I've kind of been taking my time. Somebody said they are planning on adding, like, a class system where you're going to have to choose one or the other, so I don't know if it's going to be as uh, profitable to level all of them up and then, like, lose all that experience. What do you mean? Uh, they have a talent system that they're going to become up with, but it's more to, it's called, it, it like adapts to your play style, though. It's not like you have to choose one or the other. Like, um, for a, a ranger, if you're somebody, you can, like, adapt the class so you can spam more. Or if you're somebody that likes to take it slower and do precision shots and charge shots and stuff like that, you can adapt it to that. But it's uh not like. Oh, you but know, you can still choose all of them. You know? Yeah, it's just a talent system, they said. It's, it's going to be coming out like three or four weeks. Maybe they released the, the content patch at the end of the month. Oh, okay. I thought you'd have to be locked into just one. I like the fact that you can switch back and forth, kind of make up the raid with what you need. No. No, you can you switch all classes. You can switch all of them. They're not going to change that. I guess let's go turn this in then. So the uh, the rainforest dungeon, have you done that one? Uh, I imagine you probably have a number of times. Is it uh, as interesting as the other one over next to uh, like the one we were just doing where you got to drop the spikes down? Like they do that kind of stuff in there too? Um, yeah, they all have like the little mechanics. The second boss you got to do is pretty much the hardest one because uh, you actually got to kill these seeds. Oh, okay. I think I saw that with the world boss you were talking about as well. You had to shoot the seeds from hitting the end or your guys. Otherwise, oh, they like just, one shot yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, we don't get one shot, um, but th those seeds are different from the ones we talked about. Like, they're actually like pods on, on the ground that you gotta shoot, or they turn into these giant, like, sapling things that you gotta kill. Those aren't the same as the ones I'm speaking of. Like, those ones, the ones that you're speaking of, will actually fly at you and do damage. Hey, you can kind of see the progression. You know, they, they throw them on the ground, so they're not as... Uh in your face but they're still used for something and then later on they throw them at you i guess in the world boss yeah is that all he drops though is the cape uh, no you get epic gear from him oh nice you get epic gear and rings purple gear so you maxed out with all your gear You got epic gear on all your pieces? Piece ring. I'm just missing a headpiece and a ring. How many times do you have to do it? Like, does it seem like the drop rate is pretty high in that mob? Or, you know, like one out of every three or something you get loot? Well, I, it takes hours to farm. I mean, it's literally luck of the draw. I mean, there's no telling. It could be five hours for me and ten hours for somebody else. It depends on how lucky you are. All right. <laughs> That's why I wear rings of luck. Rings of luck increase your drop percentage. That's actually pretty interesting to know now that I know that I'll have to be looking out for items to give you luck. Yeah, so this is the wizard rings. special. Yeah. There's two oh, rings. Oh, yeah, okay, you gotta try it. Uh, okay, let's, let's go with that. <laughs> Are those the only one in the game? I mean, are they... What's that? Yeah, those are the only ones. Yeah, I don't, they don't increase, because right now you have a base. It increases it to 100. That's not too bad. Double, at least. Have you noticed anything with the weapons, though? That's what I've been kind of curious about, if they're going to be adding... You know, like... um. You know, you're an archer, but do you get a different type of bow that gives you any augments one way or the other, or is it just, oh, the damage is better? Well, I don't know. 
imagine it would be the same. Because the gear has like properties on it too. Like this bow has like a treasure hunter perk that drops dram. It has a chance to drop in dram too as well. But I mean, there's different types of perks and stuff on, on purple gear that you get. That's actually pretty cool that you can get money off of drops now. I've been having a hard time finding ways to make money other than breaking down equipment. Well, it's not. I mean, it's literally one of the worst perks you can get on a weapon. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And this is like the last one of the last I wanted to get an epic weapon. But where are we going? Uh, I got to go back to uh, Silas at uh, the guild. Oh. To turn this quest in. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Let me go to my house real quick and get some more reagents. I got some, dude. I mean, if you're using them to help me out, I don't mind. kill this thing. Uh, very nice for this guy to be able to, you know, come out and help part of the, the videos, because, yeah, you know, I was, I was having a little bit of trouble in there. Of course, I think I was going a very, very uh, weird route to, um, to kill dragons that I could have found somewhere else in an easier part of the zone. I just had no idea they were actually over there. I went over there once and never went back, because the zone right next to it is the, uh, the desert. And the desert kicked my butt, so. Do I have three? I do have three. Let me, uh. While he's doing that, let me come in here and, uh. See if I can make a potion real quick, since he was telling me that it is yellow that I need now that I am sure that is the way to do it. Um, I think that's all I need. All right, so he's grabbing those. He doesn't mind waiting for a second. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this potion done. All right, so we need to do, do, do potion of something. First place, three ears fit for royalty while the cauldron remains calm okay so three ears one two three uh once it builds three fish of sun Patience is key, builds to yellow, and then add one herb that can play a song. That might be the key right there. I might need to do it on the other green. Ruin potion. All right, so we'll try that again. Three of these. Two, three. And then uh, three fish. We go all right all right thank you so much dude that was uh that was a huge help let me sit back down too lazy to stand up that long unbelievable 
I finished the quest, guys. I finished that quest. Thank God. Whew, I thought I was going to be stuck on that one for days. All right, so let's get out of here so he is not waiting on us. Uh, I do apologize for keeping you waiting, man. Uh, <laughs> very rude, actually, but... Um, you know, you gave me a tip, and I wanted to see if it worked. All right, sorry about that, dude. I went in there, and I, I checked out the potion that you told me about, and it worked. It worked, so I got it done. Awesome, dude. Sweet. Uh -oh. Let me see. you invite people to your house? I I don't know. I don't know if you can invite people into your house. Probably not. Uh, they might be able to go into your house if they were part of your same party, maybe. I don't know why, but everybody's faster than me in this game. Like the slowpoke, I don't know how it's to do with like uh, latency issues or internet speed or computer speed or what. But oh, that guy's looking pretty cool. Yeah, Seneca says this way. That's what you guys are saying. Uh, Spirit of Wolf, uh, you know, maybe at some point they will come up with a buff to speed people up. I think they're probably going to come out with mounts before then. I hope they don't. I'm not really digging the idea of uh, mounts in this game, but they could. Hey, Silicus, my man. How you doing? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Here's some dram to help you out on your journey. Mm -hmm. You got another question? Hello, Demiro. You're just in time. Was informed of a rare species roaming the thick trees to the west of New Kingsport. Will you help me to catch it? Uh, sure. It seems to be some form of mutated reptile. I think they are called Vasola, or however you pronounce that. You could bring a fresh specimen for me to study. I will pay you well. I think those are the suckos that heal themselves. I actually hate those guys. Yes, yes, now hurry before it's too late, and while you're out there, see if there are any other oddities I don't have in my collection. Um, so let me see, where do I need to turn this potion in? Uh, complete to the return to the wise one on the island, point out of the corner path, the summoning potion. Alright, so I gotta go all the way back to, um, uh, to the wise one. Cyber. Dude, I'm gonna get spoiled <laughs> right now. I'm getting spoiled a little bit. Getting teleported all around like a boss, man. This is amazing. I feel kind of bad, too, because I haven't spent any time or effort to figure out what those symbols are and how to cast everything. So I think maybe tomorrow, uh, if I'm not doing anything, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn that, that little skill right there.
How's your warrior going, by the way, Cypher? Oh, nice. And he's out here. See, I never would have guessed the guy was out here. I would have totally run back to the cave where I found him in, so it's a good thing you told me he was here, dude. Alright, let's uh, let's talk to the wise one and see what he has to offer. Good, good, you're here. I trust you have the potion. I do. Lovely, lovely. Well, that's it. Here you go. I'll pour this into the water and let you two get acquainted. There, I'll be on my way now. Oh, look at it. It's a lady. I have not come above the surface of my lake for quite some time, yet here you are. I seek your blessing, my lady. My blessing? I do not give out such power willingly. It is true that a strange power flows through your blood, but even so. What guarantee have I that you are pure of heart, seeking only that which is good for our land? How did you become a spirit? I thought I was betrayed. My dearest Wolfgang, he was a monarch of Kingsport, or Kingsport. He loved me, but his wife, the queen, my sister, she became enraged when she discovered us together. She imprisoned me and thought to have me killed. Wolfgang freed me. He told me to wait for him here. He promised he would meet me in one week's time. Together, we would elope. He never came. I waited for him. For three weeks, I waited. Then when I realized I, I was a mistake he needed ridding of, I threw myself from the highest rock into this cold blue that's now my home. Perhaps he got lost. Perhaps I have considered many of the perhaps, and what ifs if my death. But whatever the case, it is a little too late. Reunite me. He is long dead now, though your proposition does interest me. Alright, so we got another quest there. If this would go away, I could read the rest for it. Stranger, find out for certain what happened to my sweetheart. And if you can, return his bones to me. Then, only then, will you have deemed yourself worthy of my blessing. Alright, so she wants me to go find her bones. Alright, uh, let's see. Complete it. Seek out the old king of Kingsport. King Wolfgang. Bones near the ruins of the ancient city. Nestled in the middle of a Kingsport Lake. I think we've seen that too. Just to the east of your hometown, High Steeps. There's an order, archaeological dig site there. Speak with the lead. Alright, so I know where that is. Alright, I gotta go back to the, uh, close to the beginning town now. You don't have to keep casting around if you don't want to, man. I know that costs, uh, runes. Yeah, let me uh, donate a little bit to help pay for all this. Almost 18, decided to take a break. Yeah, you don't want to level up too fast, man. You want to take your time, enjoy it. Although I'm not one to talk, because I'm trying to like bust through these levels as fast as I can. Oh no, there's a tiger. <laughs> We're in the rainforest, man. It's dangerous.
So, uh, how's your guild working out, man? Or your uh, alliance, the alphabet? Yeah, it's good, man. We got a ton of people. Haven't really done a lot with, uh... Hey, Cynic, man. How you been? Mm -mm. Haven't really done a lot with guilds. I don't know if there's a, a benefit to having them or not. Following you, where are we going? Oh, I don't know if you want me to spoil it for you or not. I don't know if there's somebody that wants to figure it out yourself, or if you want me to just show you. <laughs> I don't know. That's up to you. So I know some people actually want to do the lore of the game. So, well, I mean, I don't mind. It's just I think the one that I had right now was to uh, to find the ancient city nestled in the middle of King Kingsport Lake. Um, isn't that out that way? Towards the uh, beginning area, or is it over here? It's that way. It's behind me? Yeah. Alright, let's go check it out then. Yeah, I don't mind, uh, you know, getting shown around a little bit. It helps the people who are watching kind of find out if in case they ever get stuck. And there's so much more to this game than just doing the quest, so... Plus, I'm pretty bad when it comes to these quests. I, uh, <laughs> I got stuck early on. By not double checking the cook, like I should have. Yeah, you, yeah, you get used to it, man. Trust me. We've all been there. Wait, we gotta go to the, uh, the fort, right? Do you have to go to the fort, or do you have to get the bones? Uh, it said check the dig site. The ancient city nestled in the middle of uh, Kingsport Lake, just to the east of the hometown High Steeps. There's an order of archaeological dig sites there. Speak with the lead archaeologic uh, Basilla. Try to uncover the truth. So I need to speak to a Basilla. Use the girl that's over here. I think. Let me look. Is uh, Old King's Bones. I don't know where the bones are at. I'm just trying to figure out where she's at. Uh oh. Let me look at the map. Kingsport Lake. Uh, you sure it's not over next to. Um... The Lakewood Inn, you know, like when you, you go out uh, of town and you uh, cross the bridge next to the wizard area, there's that, um... Uh, no, that... that's... No, it's over here somewhere. Because so... it says Kingsport's Lake, and that's that's over there in the other zone. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you one more time I'm looking at the map now it's bothering me I can't figure this out 
It's cool, man. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of quests in here. I probably wouldn't remember all of them either. And you've done more than I have. So it says, Complete seek out the old king of Kingsport, King Wolfgang. Bones near the ruins of the ancient city nestled in the middle of Kingsport Lake, just to the east of your hometown, High Steeps. There's an order of uh, archaeological digs. Speak with the lead, mm -hmm. Basilla. B-E-S-L-I-A-L. -E oh, yeah, so you gotta go over to the encampment. That's who that is. He's over here. I'm digging the grass though guys I mean it's just it's a simple feature to throw in there but it adds so much ambiance to this one especially if you sit down you can't see over it if you stand up you can still see over it a little bit but it kind of hides your your body which is um, I don't know like I can imagine them putting snow in there so thick that it does kind of the same thing and then slows you down to boot would be really really nice he is a lot faster than I am he must have some kind of like speed bonus through armor Uh, there's nobody in here. Yeah, there's no name of this guy or no nothing. guys so you can keep an eye on him over here in this jungle Looks like we might be heading out of the rainforest if this is the direction I think it is. <laughs> this is a weapons cart. Wow, look at that. He's going to kill this thing in just a matter of hits. I don't think I've been over here either yet. This is a new little area for me. Yeah, nobody here either. It's just, she gotta be at one of these towns. I, it's the wrong one. This isn't the one I meant to go to. I meant to go to the other one. It's the one that's just north of here. See that you know that ward boss you were talking about with the seeds, right? It's it's up there. You see that zip line? You see the zip line up there? Oh, that's the only it's way to get into it is to go through the zip line. 
Yeah, so you gotta go into this tower over there, and then you go up. You need a potion to get up there. Oh, so you do have to do, like, a quest to unlock the potion thing. Yeah, make it now or buy it now, but there's no point. You'll, you'll need to do that before you even bother going up there, so. Right. Which you will. Uh, there's this guy that gives you these potions that you gotta take to go find these the skull of I think one of his ancestors or something like that. Uh, just keep them because they're valuable and they're a pain to make. And that's the only way to get into the dungeon is to use a potion every single time. Yeah, it's the only way. It's the only way to get up to that world boss. Yeah. You gotta go up that tower. Once you take the potion, you're able to go into that tower and it shoots you up there. And what level is that one? The level 12 or the level 20? Oh, you should be 20 for all board bosses. But, I mean, you can do 18, 19 if you, if you really wanted to. That one's more lenient than the other one. How that many are there right now? Harder. Just two or one? Two. two. Just, just two. And I'm guessing each one has its own loot drops that you uh, kind of require you to go back and forth between the two. Uh, only difference is the rings and, and the capes. Other than that, epics and stuff like that are the same. It's just a matter of you getting them. Uh, okay. Drops. So whichever one you prefer. Which one do you think is easier? Let me see if I can catch up to them. We got a little bit out of range. It's the only downside to. Uh, the voice chat system is getting a little too far away. But out of the two, which one do you think uh, would be easier to do? Or are they both kind of difficult in their own right? Well, if you know what you're doing, it's, they're both easy. If you have a group, that knows what they're doing. What's the trick to him? The other one where the seed's flying at you, do you have anything like that? No, he uh, he has poisons and stuff like that that the healer's got to decurse off of you. And you oh, gotta okay. know when to decurse them off. Then he, um, he also spawns worms like at level adds at you. But the only the main like the same thing as like seeds and stuff like that is pretty much the poison that he puts on everybody. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.